So why are we on the verge of a, a total job loss here in this country coming the beginning of this year of 2023? And what is behind this? Well, we know that there's a lot of things that are going on as far as the inflation. We also know that a lot of companies are struggling to post profits. We do know that on a, any given year in January, there are always layoffs and people lose their jobs because they're considered temporary employees. Now this year, a lot of companies did not hire as many as employees as they normally do in the Christmas season. Amazon didn't, Walmart didn't, UPS didn't, FedEx didn't. All these big, huge, major corporations did not do the hiring that they normally do. They scaled it all back to increase the profits because they know what is coming. So what is going to be behind this, though the workforce will collapse in 2023? What's going to take place is we're going to see a lot more of people being laid off than when we're actually hired during the Christmas season. People are going to start losing their jobs because of these companies can no longer afford to have the high overhead of what they have to try and maintain and then turn around and post profits for all the top executives and for the board members and for everybody else the stock market to make everybody happy it's not going to happen people are going to be losing their jobs in record numbers mark my words folks because the numbers weren't there to begin with and now they're going to a lot of companies have already stated that come january they're going to start laying off a lot of employees now some corporations have started cleaning house in their corporate offices you know because all these big corporate offices they got way too many people working there to begin with so they're going to start cutting there but then they're going to have to start cutting the general employee that works in their stores throughout the country or warehouses or whatever it may be they're going to start adding more work to the workforce that still has a job so let's just say you know your job you had to stock shelves, for instance, all right? And you were responsible for a certain area. Well, now you're gonna pick up more than that area and you're gonna be held accountable to make sure that you are getting that done. We've already seen in the news where a lot of companies are now starting to force their workforce to come to work, whether they're sick, whether they have a death in the family, whether they have um, any type of emergency type situation, their kids in school or something, or it doesn't matter. They're telling these people if they do not come to work, period, no matter what the circumstances are, they're going to fire them. Now, are there people out there that abuse the system? Yes, there are. But there are people out there that do have legitimate reasons why they cannot go to work on any given seven day you know i mean it's just a fact of life things happen but nowadays these employers just don't care anymore all right and the quality of workers that people and companies are hiring are a lower standard than what a lot of the workforce is used to they don't want to work hard and earn the money they just want the paycheck, but they don't want to be there. There is a large part of this country that is like that. And it all stems back through the whole COVID process because people got so used to money being handed out to them on a weekly, monthly basis from the government and everything else. Now they expect that every month. And it doesn't work that way. We have a society Yes, we have different programs and stuff that we can fall back on in hard times, but that's during hard times. Once the hard times are over, it is back up to us to make sure that we are trying to succeed and finding and getting the jobs that we want. We have to be able to sell ourselves in order to make sure that we can do what we want to do and we can put food on a table, a roof over our heads, make sure your kids have what they need for school, 
make sure you can buy their medicine and everything else. This workforce is going to be collapsing in the beginning of 2023. And I believe the feds are already going to be raising the interest rates again. Now they are saying they're only going to be doing it up to a 50 basis points. It will not be the 75. They're saying 50 basis points, but we're still waiting on a final report for December to come out before their meeting in December here where they're going to make that announcement. So everything is going to be based off of that particular whole item right there, you know, and that's coming up real soon. So we got to wait and see what's going on here. A lot of things are all based around that CPI number and how much money these corporations and stuff are bringing in. Now we know that Walmart has been fighting with Amazon on who's got the cheapest prices and everything else and they're going back and forth. There are a lot of things that play into this. A lot of these big corporations though do realize that once January rolls around and they post their final numbers for their Christmas season and they make whoever they have to make happy, hopefully, that's what their whole goal is, this way here, they're going to turn around and they're going to start slashing that workforce. And it's going to have a trickle effect on how much shelves are being stocked, how quick you get your products, how fast you know the delivery services and stuff can move the products, get it delivered to you in a timely manner. Things are going to start to change because with the lack of workforce in there in order to make sure it's spreading out the work and the work can get done on a daily basis is going to be very tricky for a lot of people. And there's going to be a lot of people that ain't just going to take it and they're going to quit. And now they're down even more people. And I think you're going to see where these high prices that they've been paying people, I wouldn't be surprised, folks. If all of a sudden you start to see that go back the other way, because if all of a sudden you cut all the workforce out, now people are going to work for whatever they can, not the $20 an hour, but maybe back to, you know, between 12 and 15 bucks an hour, because there's going to be so many people out there that's going to need jobs. They're all going to do it for whatever price these big corporations set. And we know these big corporations are the ones that are making the rules. They make all the decisions and everybody else just goes right along with it because in a sense, you do not have a choice in the matter, unfortunately. And that is why it is so very important at this point in time, before this collapse begins, folks, if you're working right now and if you think that you could be one of these ones that's going to be cut, you may want to try to be putting up a little bit of extra food and stuff and maybe some medical supplies and stuff because we all know where that has gone and we're going to have another video on that. But you got to make sure that you're doing whatever you can to prepare yourselves and your family for what is coming in the beginning of the year of 2023. Because I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty rough ride for a lot of folks. And if you don't get prepared now, it's going to be a very, very hard winter for you to endure with you and your family. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I hope everybody stays safe. You keep prepping and we can all get through this together, but we have to make sure that we are following and doing everything that we can do to be prepared to weather the storm. Till next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.